Well, I don't promise a good landing. Ugh, at least you'll miss it on top of my head. So hopefully, we were, when I left this thing, we were 27 miles from Swift Current, Saskatchewan, on the edge of Al Alberta. Okay, all being green. We'll on pause. My logbooks are all correct crackers here. Let's try to keep control. There we go. So I've got my GPS running and I'm right online. It's the first time I've been able to use the system GPS. And uh, we're at just about 4,500 feet. Start a descent. My my moving maps here won't lecture me because uh, it's got Yankee stuff in there. Usually it'll do the same thing as the GPS, but it's got my altitude and my speed 150 knots, track 244. Uh, and I got two sets of gauges here because I'm running virtual cockpit there because it works better with. The three screens, the other regular cockpit up there kind of gave you vertical and screens went all kind of like crazy. I got a rear view of the plane, my artificial horizons, the, the real plane up there, the real artificial horizon down here. And I got a side view for when I'm landing, the radios are input. So let's talk, let's see if we can talk to the, uh, to them, I give them my position. Let's get it a little louder here, so you can hear it. Okay. Stuff. 
sound pretty good now, but these ground level altitudes and everything, I have got to figure that out. Thank you. 
that monitor is not quite level either. Okay, let's see where we are. We are way off track. Good. The owner of my first flying school I went to keeps not for just a
compass a lot more lately. shut down the Jay Leno show and get around here get around here better than I could last night falling down the toilet hole okay stop